Hi, in this video, we'll be discussing a question regarding exponential and logarithmic functions. The question goes, you are to solve the following equations. In part A of this question, log square root of 3x squared minus 3 to the base of 3 is equals to 2 plus 1 divided by log 9 to the base of 3x minus 3. And that's a four marks question. In a separate part B question, you have this exponential equations of 2 to the power of 4x plus 3 plus 14 multiplied by 4 to the power of x is equals to 15. And that's another four marks question. You might want to pause this video to give this question a try. And when you're ready, keep watching. So for part A of this question, we are to solve this logarithmic equations. Now on the left hand side, the log has a base of 3, but on the right hand side, we have a log in the denominator and this log has a base of a 3x minus 3. So they are of different base. So once you see that you have an equation that consists of two logs of different base, we will want to change um, the base to the same ones. So let us recap on our change of base formula like this over here on the left side. So by the change of base formula, we are referring to this. So on the left, we have a log b to the base of a. Now let's say we want to change to a new base. Let's say we want to have a base of c. We write it to the top and bottom, the base of c. The b ones of b goes to the top, and the original base of a goes to the bottom like this. So log b to the base of a can now be rewritten as a fraction where the top becomes a log b to the base of c, and the bottom becomes a log a to the base of c. So over here, um, the question now is, what do we change? All right. So my advice to students is that uh, we will most likely be wanting to change out this part whereby we have a base of 3 because base of 3 is easier to manipulate as opposed to having a base of 3x minus 3. So now let us begin our first part of part A solution like this. So in the first step, um, on the left hand side, the square root of 3x squared minus 3 can now be written as 3x squared minus 3 to the power of half. Um, the two remains on the right um, is a 1 divided by this log. So I'll express it as 1 divide sign over here. So what I'm going to do is the 1 that is highlighted in blue, I'm going to use a change of base formula. So from base of 3x minus 3, I'm going to change to the same base of 3 as seen on the left hand side. So um, change to the new base of 3 in this case, base of 3 to the top and bottom. And the big 1 of 9 goes to the top, becomes a 3 squared. All right, and the original base of 3x minus 3, which is a small one, goes to the bottom like this. So now you have the same base of 3 throughout these equations. So in our next formula, we will want to use the power law of logarithms. So by the power law of logarithms over here, if you have log x to the power of r to the base of a, the power of r can now be shifted to the front to become a product. So it will become a r log x to the base of a. So we can apply two things over here in our solutions whereby the power of 0 0.5 in this case can be shifted to the front to become a product of half and the original logarithms on the left. The two remains. Now this is a one divides by this part. So by simple manipulation, we will just have to flip the fraction or taking a reciprocal of this. So what appears to the top now becomes the bottom. And in this case, um, the power of two can now be shifted to the front using the power law. So it becomes a 2 multiplied by log 3 to the base of 3. So what was the bottom? Now it's written as a top like this. So with that in mind, all right, let's go on to the next step uh, whereby we talk about this special property. If I, if I have log a to the base of a, the answer is a 1. So log a to the base of a, the answer is a 1 because of the um, changing from logarithmic form to index form later on, which I will show it to you. And uh, on the right hand side over here in our solutions, now what I can do is that I can swap this out. So log 3 to the base of 3 is actually a 1. So in the denominator, this becomes a 2 times 1 as seen in the green color highlighted over here. So let's move on to the next step. As we can see here, we have two separate logs, but they are of the same base. And this is exactly what we want. Now we can either use a product law or a quotient law of logarithms next. So once we have the same base 
And in this case, because it's a minus, we're going to apply the quotient law of logarithms. By the quotient law of logarithms, it means to say that if we have two lots of the same base and it's separated by a minus, it can be merged into a single lot of the same base. So by that, on the left, we have log x to the base of a minus away log y to the base of a can be re rewritten as a single log to the base of a, but within it, it will be x over y. So applying this part, we know that these two, number one, they have the same base of 3, and number two, they are separated by a minus. But before that, as we can see here, there is a half here and there is a half here. So we might want to get rid of the half by multiplying by 2 throughout in the next part. So multiply by 2 to get rid of the half, multiply by 2 to get rid of the half, multiply by 2, and it will become a 4 on the right hand side. So now we merge it from 2 log of the same base into a single log of the same base, which is log base of 3. The minus becomes a divide like this. So 3x squared minus 3 over 3x minus 3. Now as you can see here, we have a log. This to the base of 3 is equal to 4. In order for us to solve for x, we need to use a changing of logarithmic form to exponential form on the left hand side. So changing from logarithmic form to exponential form, if x is given to be equal to log y to the base of a, then y can be rewritten in exponential form to be a to the power of x. So how do we apply this formula? So um, I'll tell my students is to identify the base of a. So this over here is um, pronounced as log y to the base of a. Your a is a base. Even for exponential forms, this y is equal to a to the power of x. The a is still the base. So once we are able to identify the base, we start the base. So the base over here is the a. a push the other side up. a push x up. So a to the power of x is now equal to y. So we start with the base of a. So a push the left hand side up. Now it will be equal to y. So start with the base of a over here, which is the 3. 3 push the other side up, 3 to the power of 4. And we have this, 3 to the power of 4, will be equal to this fraction. And over here, once you reach this step, as you can see here, we can do a very simple uh, basic algebraic manipulation by expansion and cross factorization to give us this answer. And solving for this um, um, factorized form will give us x to be an 80, or x equals to 1. And why do we reject x to be a 1? It's because over here, um, if we replace x to be a 1 like this within these equations, um, you have log 0 to the base of 3, which will give you a math error. So we can't log a 0 over here. All right. So the only answer for part A of this question is x to be an 80. And that's the answer for part A of this question. For part B of this question, um, we are given the exponential equations and within this exponential equations, we have a base of 2 in the first term and we have a base of 4 in the second term. So whether is it a logarithmic equation or an exponential equation like this, we will want to convert it to the same base. That means to say, I will need to convert this 4 to the power of x into a base of 2. Now before we go on to the conversions, uh, we will want to revisit on our elementary math on the indices like this. So in the first step, um, over here in the first formula, indices of the same base, the first formula we'll be using will be a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n to give us a to the power of m plus n. Same base multiply power x. In the second formula we'll be using later on, a to the power of m brackets to the power of n will be a to the power of m's n. So the power in this case will multiply in to give us an n n. Now with these two formula here, we can start our part b questions. So over here in part b, the 2 to the power of 4x plus 3 can be split into 2 to the power of 4x times 2 to the power of 3 like the one in this formula. So over here, I'm using the right hand side of this formula and re-expressing it as the left hand side. So the 2, the base of 2, can now be split into two separate bases of 2. And over here, I have a 4x and a 3. Because it's a plus, it will now be separated by a multiply like this. And um, over here, the 15 on the right-hand side, I will shift it to the left, it becomes a negative 15. And moving on to the next step, which is to, uh, as mentioned earlier, which is to change it to the same base. So 4 to the power of x can now be rewritten as 2 to the power of 2x. 
Likewise, 2 to the power of 4x can now be rewritten as 2 to the power of 2x whole thing power of 2 using this formula. Um, similarly, from the right hand side to the left hand side like this. So if we multiply in, we do have a 2x times 2, the power will still be a 4x. Now moving on to the next step, as you can see here, we have a quadratic because this is 2 to the power of 2x and this is 2 to the power of 2x that I have um, typed it out in blue. So we are to do a substitution method here. All right. So over here, let 2 to the power of 2x be a y. So we will have this as a y squared multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 is actually an 8. This will be a 14y and a minus 15 like this. Now we do have a quadratic equation now. And of course, like for all quadratic equations, we either use a cross factorization method or the quadratic formula to solve. So we will do a cross factorization and solving for y, we will get 3 quarter or negative 5 over 2. But y is something that we introduce in this question. We cannot stop here. We will want to solve for x. So changing back the y into 2 to the power of 2x will give us a 3 quarter or negative 5 over 2. Now this is an exponential function here. Um, it has to be a greater than 0. So if 2 to the power of 2x is lesser than 0, we will need to reject it. So leaving us with only one part of the solution here to continue solving. So as you can see here, this is 2 to the power of 2x to be equal to a 3 quarter. The unknowns is stuck in the power. So to continue further, we will revisit on what we have gone through earlier in part A, changing from logarithmic form to exponential form. So over here, we have a base of 2. Let's start with the base of 2. So um, changing from exponential form to logarithmic form in this case, we're going to have log to the base of 2. All right, log to the base of 2. This base of 2. So now we have log to the base of 2. And over here, the other side will now be a 3 quarter. And the power will now be the subject, which is 2x. So the power over here will be the subject. And the power of 2x will be the subject like this. So this is changing from exponential form to logarithmic forms. Solving for x out by key into our calculator will give us this answer of negative 0.208 in 3SF. And that's the answer for this two-part questions. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and see you in the next one.